Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. We've got over 350 audios for you to check out on a variety of topics. And we thank you to the thousands of you that do that on a monthly basis. If some more of you could subscribe, that would be super helpful. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. When we do, we can get uh, to the point where we can give to charity, which I want to certainly do um, through this pandemic and the challenges associated with that. So we're going to talk today about social awkwardness. And so if you deal with social awkwardness or any other kind of social phobia challenges, um, please feel free to reach out on Twitter at PO Perception or at the website in the About Me link here on YouTube. We can do a lot of cool things there um, in one-on-one -on -one conversations. Anyway, so there's about six or seven things I want to go through here. And so... The, the first thing is a person who's socially awkward often will fear unexpected or unplanned social interaction. And this overlaps a lot with social anxiety. Now, the physical reaction and the um, physical kind of, you know, heart palpitations and things that go along with that and the constant fear isn't always there. But a socially awkward person may start to stutter or they may start to um, have pauses in their communication style or they may actually be in their mind rendered unable to speak because the fear of what could be said what they don't know when they don't know what to say um, and which is the second part of this fear of not knowing what to say that can almost lead to a mental and emotional paralysis which can last several seconds to a couple of minutes depending on the person this is because they're kind of thinking through everything that could go wrong in the moment, but also trying to think of something intelligent to say at the same time. So they're almost activating two different parts of the brain, which aren't working together and at the same time. And it becomes problematic and, and very overwhelming because if we don't know what to say or how we're going to be received and we're thinking about the reception rather than the communication, it creates these pregnant, often elongated pauses uh, that can cause lots and lots of challenge. The next one is humor and attempts at connections missed. And so if a person has difficulty in reading social cueing, if a person has difficulty in understanding how others relate and building rapport, it can be very likely that they may say something where they're offensive without meaning to be or their frame of reference of what would be found funny by the demographics or read of a room might be off. Also, the timing of an attempt at humor might be off. And it's just awkward because there's no relatability in proper timing. And everybody, um, almost everybody, I hate the always or never uh, verbalizations because nobody ever always or nevers, but nearly everybody um, knows that humor and timing go hand in hand. So if something misses because it's said or intimated at the wrong time, it can actually derail a complete conversation for uh, a, you know, a lot of people. And so the next thing is um, kind of interjecting or interrupting without meaning to um, derail the conversation. So a person who is socially awkward, who doesn't know how to let conversations breathe and how to read the cadence and kind of the, the, the outlay of a conversation may actually inadvertently interrupt or jump over a person or not let them catch their breath to continue their point or a series of points, which ultimately means they've jumped into the conversation at the wrong time, thus bringing attention onto themselves that they do not want. This can make them feel even more awkward how do I save face and go back into my prairie dog hole if people think I've been inappropriate or, you know, in some way um, that I don't understand? Miscues, miscues that happen, especially around things like cadence, tone, body language, and other forms of nonverbal cueing for a socially awkward person, they may miss them entirely because they're so in their head thinking about what to say or do next, or they may not understand that the same facial expression can have multiple meanings and thereby 
not put together the other cues that might indicate a person's getting frustrated versus the person's feeling sarcastic. Frustration and sarcasm do overlap for people who maybe don't have a robust um, view of kind of how different different emotions are related but but different in subtle ways and that can create a lot of difficulty eye contact a uh, socially awkward person might get caught staring because they get lost in I'm about to speak okay what am I going to say what am I going to do how am I going to do it and they don't realize that they're staring on the other hand a socially awkward person might also avoid eye contact when it's when it's expected thereby looking uh, shifty and looking um, suspicious and maybe disingenuous or uncomfortable within themselves and so judgment begins to happen not necessarily because one person wants to judge another but um, you know it, it it's because you're trying to figure out what's this person's this guy or this girl's deal and for someone who's more socially comfortable, they're just going to assume this person's an oddball and maybe not understand that social awkwardness is something they deal with on a regular basis. And then the last thing that I want to say before we close is the socially awkward person, and this is the biggest part, they're always thinking about what to do two, three, four, five, six steps ahead of where they are so that they can feel more confident. The idea of knowing what's coming creates confidence so if they're two three four steps ahead they don't have to confront feeling you know not confident and that can can certainly create a lot of challenges when you know you need to be responsive and reactive to what a person's saying and, and be present but you can't be present if you're kind of thinking several steps ahead so that creates social awkwardness getting worse because you're not present moment minded. So hopefully this has been helpful. I encourage you again, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment.